today we are the ball sacks. It's not what you think. It actually means being a leader for socially aware Christians. For our first episode of Ball Sack, we are about to um, educate you about the infallibility of tapestry. Thank you, Suarez. Infallibility means not capable of being wrong or making mistakes. Thank you, Patrick. He explained to us that infallibility is not making any wrong. Where does it actually apply? Here's Jomer Espina to tell us where it does not actually apply. Thank you, Suarez. Well, it does not apply to sports, anatomy, philosophy, or even sociology. But it only applies in Christian morality. Back to you, Jomer. Well, there is one question though. Why does it have to be Christian morality? Why can't it be something else? Why does it have to be always Christian around? Here's Ken Valero to tell us why. Thank you, Suarez. It was because he was a priest and later became a Pope. So, in order to become a Pope, you must have an excellent knowledge about Christian morality. He also studied theology and is guided by God. Folks, you heard it here why it has to be Christian morality. It's because he was a priest and he later became a pope. Like he said, he had excellent knowledge in Christian morality. Next up is actually kind of, um, how can I put this? Um, very interesting. It's ex cathedra. So tune in because we'll be back sooner or later. Bye bye. Welcome back to Ballstack where our first priorities is to give you Christian knowledge. A while ago, Kent just gave you a personal reason why the Pope is infallible. So right now, we're going to give you the real reasons, which, is, which are four reasons, why the Pope is infallible. To give us that reason, here is the Bonnie and Clyde of our beloved block, Alistair Inland. First, he must be speaking ex cathedra. Second, decision must be for the whole church. It must be a matter of faith or moral. Fourth, the Pope must have the intention of making final decisions on the teaching of faith and morals. Thank you guys. I'm here right now with a friend, Levi. He has a question for you. Levi, what is an ex cathedra? Yeah, what is ex cathedra? Dude, it means from the chair of Peter, or in other words, officially head of the entire church. Thank you, Levy. Thank you for answering that question perfectly. I have word my friend Patrick is on the go. He is asking people to ask questions for our group known as Ballside. Go, Patrick. Tell me or ask me some questions. Yes, Suarez. Guys, I have a friend here who wants to ask a question. Marcel, say hi. I heard that... I heard that... Do you have a question for Alistair? Yes, I have a question for Alistair. So, Alistair! Alistair is not here in the moment, but I could be of assistance. How long does it take to make a decision, anything about faith and morals? His ex cathedral decisions are not made by his own private deliberations. They are the results of hundreds of years, not just hundreds, but even thousands of years, of consulting bishops, not just bishops, but even theologians and other priests. Here are some important features or points that we were going to give to you about this video. The doctrine simply means that, that the Pope is divinely protected from error when acting in his, in his official capacity as chief shepherd of the Catholic fold, he promulgates a decision which is binding on the conscience of all Catholics throughout the world. The Pope has no authority to originate new doctrine. He's not the author of Revelation, only its guardian and expounder. He has no power to distort a single word of scripture or change one iota of the divine tradition. Strictly limited to the province of the doctrinal interpretation and it is used quite rarely. It is used in order to clarify, to define some point of the ancient Christian tradition. No Pope has ever used his infallibility to change, add, or subtract any Christian teaching. This is because our Lord promised 
to be with his church until the end of the world. That concludes our video. Tune in next time to the next Ballsack video or episode. Remember, Ballsack stands for Be a Leader for Socially Aware Christian. Be a Ballsack. I am your host, Andrew Suarez. Good day.